Welcome to Believers Global TV. Please subscribe to this channel. Let's get into the message of today. In the mighty name that is above all names, the name of Jesus, I decree and declare where you have cried, whether in secret or in open, beginning from this night, may the God of all grace visit you and turn your mourning to dancing and turn your sorrow to joy. Shout a believing amen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive divine direction. Divine direction. You will know where to go to. You will know who to meet. In the name of Jesus Christ. The error that comes as a result of lack of direction. May it not be found in your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. The grace to discern helpers when they show up. May God open your eyes so that you will see and you can receive of your helpers in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I was told of someone who left his house, very sad story. Whether is it that he left his house going to the market and a car just rammed and he died and the family members did not even know that he died. Let me pray for you. Uh, I've had many of those stories, but you know, I just saw it by text and I was saying, can you imagine that? that people were calling who who has this dead body and they had to find a way of taking the dead body to the hospital that's not how the saints go the bible says they who are in christ sleep and those who sleep sleep at night when you sleep in the afternoon is called siesta you are expected to wake up am i right i pray for you every manifestation of death to cut short your life either by accident by activities of terrorists by crashes, car crash, plane crash, because you have come for this miracle service, I place a mark of exemption upon your head. I place a mark of exemption upon your head. I place a mark of exemption upon your head. I declare live and not die. Live and not die. As you travel, live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. The Bible speaks about a man called Gamaliel. I found a scripture that blessed me. Acts chapter 5 and verse 34, NIV. A Pharisee called Gamaliel. The Bible says something notable about him and I want to speak it over your life. But a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, who was honored by all the people. Honored by who? So something can come upon a man that makes you honored not just by your people but by all the people. I want to release that grace upon you. The grace that can make a man honored by all men, all the people, whether they are connected to you or not, in your place of work, I pray for you. Like it happened to Gamaliel, may that grace for honor rest upon your life. You will be honored by your superiors, you will be honored by your contemporaries. You will be honored by your subordinates in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let me speak recovery. When you have lost things, you don't need advancement. You need recovery first. Some of you have lost money. Some of you have lost connections. Some of you have lost favor. Some of you have lost many things. You have even lost the secrets that protect your grace. You have lost the secrets that protect your anointing. You've lost the secrets that protect your relevance. I pray for you in the name of Jesus tonight. Let there be a recovery. Let there be a recovery. Let there be restoration. I speak it to you. Receive restoration. Receive recovery. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of us here, what has kept us down is ignorance. I shared some of them today to liberate you, but the journey must be ongoing. I pray for you. The right information needed in this season to bail you out of a life of ignorance and stagnancy. Access those materials. Access those information. Access those materials. Access those information in the name of Jesus Christ. My final prayer for you before I do the altar call. Final prayer. I will never stop this service be, without praying the prayer of favor for you. I don't know how people live without it. I honestly do not know 
how people live without the favor of God. It's like living without oxygen. It's like living without the ability to talk, to walk, to hear, to feel. There are people like that in the hospital. When you find them, only their neck moves. They can't talk. They can't do anything. They are already blind. They can't hear. It's a terrible way to live. These are the kinds of states that makes you to prefer death than even to be alive. But I pray for you. Favor is a game changer in the life of men. Believe me. When it really rests upon you, genuinely rests upon you, it makes the difference. And it does so fast. I pray for you. Speaking in the area of your finances, speaking in the area of your relationships, speaking in the area of progress and destiny, receive favor. Receive favor. Notable favor. Notable favor. As a deposit of God's grace upon your life, let favor begin to speak. Let it speak immediately. Let it speak now. Let it speak tonight. Let it speak this week. In the name of Jesus. And it will not just speak once. May it speak again and again and again. May it speak again and again and again. May it speak again and again and again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for your spiritual life. I should pray for your spiritual life. Some of you are not serious with God spiritually. Please look at me. I'm not doing an altar call yet. This is to everybody. Some of you are just not serious with God. It's an attack. Prayer life, zero. Word study life, occasionally. If you are fortunate and your hand can reach a devotional one morning, lucky for your spiritual life. Else, until the day attack gets serious. You need to standardize your spiritual life. You need to systematize your growth. You need to be more intentional. Let me speak over these three areas of your life. Your prayer life, your passion for the house of God, and your word study life. Any one of these areas that has gone down or is failing already, by reason of this experience, this miracle service tonight, I declare let fresh fire return to your altar. The grace to pray, receive it. Passion for the house of God, receive it. The grace to study the word of God, receive it. The grace to live by the word, receive it. The grace to engage the word for your profit and receive it. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for liking this message. Thank you for watching this message. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We love you. We celebrate you. Please share our content with others. Share our content with your follower, your fellow, um, what do I want to say now? Share our content with your friend, with your family, with your loved ones. Share it with your enemies. Share our content anywhere. Believers Global TV to the whole world. Let's gather and preach the gospel of Christ through the power of media. See you in our next video. Don't forget to share the love of Christ with others and share the love of Christ with your friends, with your family, with your enemies, with your loved ones, with anybody at all. Anybody, human being at all, share the love of Christ with them. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will, the Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And uh, what do I want to say again? Follow us on all of our social media platforms, on Facebook at Believers Global TV, on the Instagram at Believers Global TV, on the TikTok at Believers Global TV, on YouTube at Believers Global TV. See you, see you, see you later. Bye.